Hi everyone. Today we're going to look in this video all about voice commands because they're the most underrated things that you could imagine. It's a very comprehensive video so it's going to be a long one but I'm going to put it in sections for you so that it will be a comprehensive video because it will be broken down into different places. You'll go into the description and there'll be little windows for you to find things. So if you want to find about all the air conditioning it will be there. If you want to find out about toy box what's going on there everything will be labeled for you so you will be able to use this as the go-to video on voice commands and you will never be short about what voice commands do again and you'll use it in daily life if you want to close your car door instead of having to wait for you to walk away all you do is say lock doors and there you have it locked so let's get started and we're going to look at all of this right now. Mal's back talking Tesla. To see the enhancements made to my Tesla and how to update yours, please subscribe to the channel and you can message me with suggestions or for help. Okay, so the first section we're going to look at is all the car controls. Now there is 38 in this section of car controls. And as I said, they're all going to be put into sections for you so you better find everything you need wow that's going to make things so much easier for you to enjoy this great uh, facility so without further ado let's go into car sections okay adjust left or right mirror so here we go adjust left mirror and your controls come up as you see wow that's good isn't it and you can adjust and tilt them or whatever you want to do and there's your left and if you want to do right from here you can just hit right and adjust that and it's the same as you can do the same for left or right of this great so let's come out of this adjust steering wheel and here's your steering wheel controls just bring that there like so using this wheel so in car controls there's an interesting one look eject passenger seat and as you see it turns on the passenger seat heaters and increases it so let's see how much it increases it by uh, let's just put on the controls and let's have a look let's turn this down so it doesn't make a noise and we'll have a look they're on to two eject passenger seat and it puts it on again so it increments it so it puts on two then puts on three so it works either with driver or passenger so if you just say uh, eject driver seat or eject passenger seat then it will increase the seat heaters what it won't do is if you have it on auto mode and you try and do it it won't won't operate obviously because the auto mode kicks in and no no changing manually will help it so that solves that let's move on we can enable and disable sentry mode yes from here without having to go on fiddling with screens that's great too so let's try that Enable sentry mode. You can see it puts it up there. Or if we put quick controls on, you can see it there. There or here. Disable sentry mode. Keep summer safe. That also puts it on. Disable sentry mode. You can also say, keep Tesla safe. And sentry modes on the next one i find very useful because you know when you're going in in the uk we have a lot of narrow ways where the the road goes into about six foot six wide and they put barriers and they put bars across the road and oh all sorts of stuff and when you're driving up to these the key is fold your mirrors in before then you don't have to worry about your mirrors going to hit anything and then you can just focus on driving straight because the worst you can have is which i did is you focus on your mirror is going to miss it 
and then you're not driving straight, you curb your wheels, and then you go, ah, and I did that when I first got the car. What a pain, but I haven't done it since, because I know. So let's have a look at it then. Here we go. Fold mirrors. Close mirrors. Open mirrors. Fold mirrors. So let's take a closer look at unlocking the doors. Yeah, so if you've switched on this, so you go into locks here, like so, and if you go along and then slide up, you see where it says driver, this one, driver unlock mode, only unlocks the driver's door when first unlocking the vehicle, which is great because it means that the whole of the vehicle is locked and you've only got one door. That means that if you're in a parking lot somewhere and someone, you're worried that someone could creep in and get into the back doors, they can't now. So that's good. But to unlock it for your passengers is a bit of a pain, but not with voice commands because all you need to do is say, unlock back doors. You get two beeps and the back doors are unlocked. As simple as that by voice. It is very brilliant because it makes it so great that you could have this fun. So that takes care of the unlocking the doors. And of course, if you just say unlock the doors, you can see by this little mark there. So we can say lock doors. And it's locked. And you hear one beep for locking doors and two beeps for unlocking. Unlock doors. That again unlock doors and there you go fantastic that takes care of the lock and unlock right let's go on to the next you can even unlock your frunk or your trunk so let's unlock the frunk and we'll see that but you won't be able to close it from the command by voice you can only open it but if you've got the button on your screen you'll be able to close it so let's have a look at this and I'm talking about, I've got a power frunk. So basically I've got a button on there that I can control it and, and close it from the screen. So it's not an issue because I've got version two of Hanshaw's power frunk, which is brilliant. Open frunk. Close frunk. It won't let me close it. Bonnet it must be closed. Let's see if it right, so let's close it again. Open bonnet. Hey, it knows the bonnet now. Well, for all those <laughs> UK owners that are non American cousins who've had that run for such a long time. Open hood. Oh, okay. <laughs> if you open... <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> the charge port opened. <laughs> Let's have a look. Close charge port. Okay, it's closed. And one other thing, because I know people are going to say, you can also say, warm my butt. So let's try this. Warm my butt. Wombat navigation to my bat. <laughs> I don't think so. Try again. Warm up my butt. Warm up my butt. Volume more. Warm up my butt. Adjusting driver's seat air upwards. That's interesting. So there's a command for in for your driver's seat air upwards. Oh, we'll have to look at that a bit further. Warm up my butt. Warm up my back. 
not working this one so maybe this does not work warm up my butt ah it does understand english what's going on british english that's what i've said that's my biggest bug right is why haven't we got british english on the net on the actual car itself we got it actually on the display now but why haven't they made it so they understand our lingo I oh, know, us limeys over in the UK, it doesn't understand it. Let's see if it understands the Queen's English. Warm up my butt. No. Oh, golly gosh, warm up my butt. Well, it did. Look, it, hey, golly gosh, warm up my butt. It understands Queen's English. Oh. I would like tea on the lawn. It doesn't understand that command at the moment. I'm sure that will be one of Elon's niceties that he'll add to the thing. Okay, so that takes care of car controls. Let's move on to the next section. Another useful one is your driver backup camera. So you can say to it this, open backup camera. And it's there. Now, interestingly, it just shows you the backup camera. Open cameras. Open cameras. So you can do that as well. So let's take that off a minute. Let's have a look. Open cameras. So it shows the backup camera. Open blind spot cameras. No. So you can't, it won't show the blind spots. Oh, stop that talking. Okay. Unless you slide it up. So let me just see, to do a test because I want to see whether we can get the blind spot cameras up. So let's have a look at this. Okay, so they're there. We're going to turn them off. Show backup camera. So once they're on, then you'll see them. If they're off, it'll just show the backup camera. If they're on, it will show all the cameras. Okay, so that's cool. Turn cameras off. Doesn't understand that. Turn off backup camera. That's it. Closes backup camera. So you can probably say open. this one up. Open backup camera. Yep. Close backup camera. Fantastic. So you've got quite a few options. Brilliant. So that takes care of that. Let's see if it shows this. Show home link settings. Yes. Nice. Very nice. So if you've got home link and what home link is, is it's a way of opening your garage or your gates from the car and not the remote control. You can have one of these silly little remotes. Uh, let me find it for you. You're all familiar with these. They open up the car, but you don't need one. If you've got home link commands, you can actually, you program your car and it'll do it as you drive up to the gates. And then when you drive away, it knows because it's got geo positioning in it, which means that it, it's the same technology as your mirrors, that it knows once you set it, it knows every time it gets to that location, it needs fold your mirrors in or put your home link on, which is brilliant. So that's cool. So that's that. So uh, let's have a look. Close home link settings. Go on. Open home link settings. Home link settings. Yeah, so you just say home link settings. You don't have to say open or close it, just home link settings and then you'll see where they are. And then you've got them all there and then you can just do adjustments to them. Brilliant. Windows down 25%. And that will turn off the windows lock. Well, simple as that. That's all right, isn't it? Um, turn on and off recirculate.
turn off recirculate. Yes. Turn on recirculate. And it's on. Okay. On and off. Simple as that. Turn off HVAC. Climb it off. <laughs> I love that. Right. Try this. Turn on windshield vent. Great. Okay, so let's have a look at these. You can say, show Bluetooth. And it will show you all the Bluetooth commands. You can, okay. Hide Bluetooth. And they're gone. So that's brilliant too. Also, go once you're on the Bluetooth, you can go next track. Next track. And it plays Baby I Await. Previous track. Play again. Playing the song again. So you've got a lot of things you can do with that. Let me just come out of this. There is one that's a great title, not what I said. So let's see what happens. There's 16 of these. Beam me up, Scotty. It says, get the Tesla mobile app. Keep the mobile app running, logged in, maintain an update with calendar and the call allow calendars. All that. Right. Okay. Beam me up, Scotty. So that's what it shows there. Okay. If you say close owner's manual, it opens it. Close owner's manual. And it opens it. Close user manual. And it sets the climate to manual. <laughs> Turn off HVAC. Okay, so it's off. Um, if you say crank it up, it tries to navigate there. Look, let's pull this up. Crank it up. Oh, they fixed that because this is command not understood. So don't navigate there. It doesn't take you anywhere. Okay. Display Mars. It decreases the brightness by 30%. Increase brightness by 30%. Okay, so we're back to where we were. Listen to CNN. It navigates to CNN. Um, lower driver window. I just driver seat, air downwards. <laughs> nice, nice. Uh, my head is cold. Now, they used to say, when you used to say my head is cold, it used to put on the dome lights. But in this instance, it doesn't recognise it. My head is cold. Doesn't recognise it, so they fixed that. Open solitaire. Opens the charge port. Close charge port. Okay, that's closed, fantastic. Um, Play Blinding Lights by the weekend. Unclear. That used to turn on the dome lights. So that's not doing that. Set chill. Temperature set to low. That's useful, isn't it? Because if you're hot and you want to be that, it can turn it to zero. So set chill is a great one. Turn off HVAC. Okay, so that's off.
switch to easy entry. Turns on the AM radio. I didn't know we had an AM radio. Which is impossible because we haven't got one in the car. Switch to easy entry. Well, it says turn into AM. I haven't got an AM radio. If you've got an AM radio, just say switch to entry and you'll get your AM playing. Um, if we say vent the windows, it'll actually turn on the window locks. So let's have a look at this. Let's turn this off. There we go. Vent windows. Turns on windows locks. Not quite vent windows yet. We want that facility, don't we? It would be lovely to have it vent the windows. If In reality, if you wanted to vent the windows, you could just press vent and then they could crack down like they can normally, which would be brilliant. Elon, vent windows is a reality we want. Please, that would be brilliant. Right, so that's vent windows. And the last one... Warm. 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 It doesn't understand my accent. If you say warm normally, it reduces the temperature. Hot. Temperature decreased by 1.5. Warm. No, it doesn't understand my warm. Not what I said. This has got to be the most useful, I think, the HVAC settings, because this is where you need to be doing loads of stuff. So there's 30 commands. Let's have a look. Keep climate on. Now, there's a climate keeper, but it didn't label it on. Climate keeper on. Could not have able climate keeper. Hmm. Adjust driver's air right. Look at that. That works. I didn't know that. Did you? No, I'm going to bet you're going to be telling me that. Uh, let's see again. Adjust driver's air left. Come to centre. Adjust driver's air left. Perfect. Uh, what else does it do? Adjust driver's air up. Adjust driver's air up. Let's have a look. Yes. Adjust driver's air down. Wow. There you go. Didn't know that, did you? No. No, I didn't. I didn't know. No. Good. Right, that's brilliant. Let's have a look. Blow me. Fan speed is increased by one. Look, it's gone to two. Blow me. Three. Brilliant. Okay. Perfect. Try this in your car. Engaged biohazard mode. Bioweapon defense mode engaged. Disengage bio... Fem You know I was going to stumble on that, don't you? Let's try again. Disengage bio defense mode. Disengage. Brilliant. Okay, so if you've got bio defense mode, that'll, that'll do that for you. I'm cold. Look, he's putting the temperature up, just in case you're wondering what's going on. I'm cold. Puts it up a degree. Brilliant. So it's heating it up. I'm hot. 
goes down a degree. I'm very hot goes down a degree. Temperature decreased by 1.5 degrees. I'm extremely hot. Gone down to one. I am so hot, my bum is burning. Temperature decreased by 1.5. <laughs> I'm so hot, my girlfriend's going to spank my bum. Not understood. Okay, well, we tried, didn't we? Okay. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, this is useful. Increase temperature to 25. Straight there. Increase temperature to 29. Gone to high. Decrease temperature to low. Brilliant. So, you know, like when you're really hot and you want the aircon on, you go that. Turn fan speed to 10. Turn fan speed to 1. So quiet. Love it. Brilliant. That's great. How about this one? Let's see what he does. Right, hang on. Let's put the sign up. My feet are cold. So he has. Uh, I see my driver's seat's on. Let me turn that off. My feet are cold. Could not complete call. Well, oh, that's why. My feet are cold. Enabling floor vents. That's what I was trying to do. There you go. My feet are hot. And, uh, <clears throat> you think it would have made it cold and would have been hot, but it didn't. Let me try. My feet are hot. It enables floor vents. My feet are cold. Enables floor vents. Hot or cold, it really doesn't help it. Try this. Turn off foot vents. Can't see what it's doing. Turn off foot vents. Footprints. <laughs> Turn off foot wells that's why turn off foot well vents I'm recircling now no okay so let's try this we're going to set the fan to auto set fan to auto perfect works set fan to recycle Fan, fan speed set to one. Split the driver's control. Driver and passenger temperature unsynced. Well, turn driver's temp up. Increase passenger's heat. 16.5. My passenger is cold. Front seat heaters increased. So let's see if the front. Yeah, let's turn this on. So if you say that your passenger is cold, it puts both seat heaters onto one. Okay, that's cool. Turn off HVAC. Brilliant. So that, you know, like when you're driving and you're fumbling about to turn off the thing, just say turn off HVAC. Done. That's the best thing of all, isn't it? So you got this on temperature. I'm going to put it up loud to see if it still hears me. I'm going to put it up to here. 10. I'm driving along. Oh, it's too cold. Turn off HVAC. 
<laughs> Great. Well, thank you for waiting to the end. Here's a couple of things that Elon are going to be releasing. So at the moment, FSD has now rolled out to people in Canada and he was asked, could we have it in Europe? And the answer is yes. So in the summer, now this is Elon time, of course, then you know with Elon, his timing is out. In the summer, left-hand drive in Europe are going to be getting the rollout to FSD Beta. Brilliant. When is right-hand drive coming, the answer? Well, the answer is a couple of months after if regulators agree. So we've got to wait for the regulators, but it could be as near as Christmas we would get to be able to do beta right-hand drive. Now, for me, I have FSD ordinary package enabled, which means I can't use it at the moment until Elon gives me a button. But when I get a button, I don't have to pay any money for it. I have it. All I can then do is put videos out for you, which will be great because then you're going to get videos and that will be brilliant. Also, Elon has just rolled out the first robo taxis. Now, people said that will never happen. Yes, it is. It's happening in Nevada and it's happening on their actual Hyperloop down in their tunnels. They're now making them automatic robo taxi type. They're trying it out which means for the rest of us, it's a matter of coming soon. And when it does come, we can let our cars out for some money. Now, you could be making as much as £20,000 a year by letting your car out when it's not doing much. And I know people say, oh, but people can damage it. Yeah, that's why you have that little camera up there, because that little camera is going to allow you to actually see that they're not messing up your seats and not ever doing stuff, and you'll have a record of it. So there are the things coming up. So now you know. Well, I hope this has been a very informative video. It tells you comprehensively all the voice commands so that now they're not a thing that you don't know or how to work them. You can find them out and they're all there. As I say, they're all in sections. So you'll be able to find out everything you need to know, where it is, what it says what. If you get some that you know about that I haven't included, please put them into the comments down below and let me know that, that you've found some issues with stuff because um, that would be brilliant. I can then make another video to show people this is new, that you can get this working. It's got some Easter eggs that I haven't covered and that's it. So that would be good too. Thanks to everybody that's been watching. My last video, 10,000 views. Wow, that is something else. I didn't expect that. The video took 18 hours to make, so 10,000 views. I really appreciate from the bottom of my heart. Thank you very much for that. All my followers, thank you. If you're not a follower, I need your support. Then join one of my followers down in the subscribe button just there and hit that notification bell. That way you're going to get the latest video. They come out every week, so you'll get one. And make sure then if there's something new coming out, you'll know about it because I'll do a video alongside that. So it's not carved in stone that you're going to get a video every week. You may get two. You may even get three videos coming out. Depends what's in the news, what affects you as a driver, and how I can improve what you're doing. And if this has been very helpful to you, then I'm glad to be here for service. Anyway, I will look forward to seeing you again next week or next time that you watch one of these. Until then, I'll be seeing you. Thanks for watching Mal's Back Talking Tesla and don't forget to subscribe. It's free.